How about some rings? Some rings going. There you go. Welcome everybody, Random Andrew here. It's uh, what time is it? It's pretty early in the morning, that time. And I'm just leaving the house, gonna go hop on my bike, ride down to Rail City Vapes, Rail City Vape Shop here in uh, Railway City Vape Shop. Sorry guys, I always do that. People know what I mean though. Uh, and uh, gonna bike down there, and then we're all gonna load up in their van. And they're so awesomely bringing themselves, shop owners, and a couple of good local clientele. They know people who really want to be there to support this whole Fighting Bill 45 down in Queen's Park in Toronto, and that's where we'll be heading today. So uh, I'm gonna hop on my beast here. In rough shape, there's no brakes, no gears. Not a long ride at all though. So yeah. I'll give you an update down at the shop. Coil saturate. Hit it, buddy. No. No. Saturday morning before the rally at Railway City Babe Shop. Everybody getting all geared up and ready to go. No, it has that. Can she charge it with battery? Yeah, you can charge it with battery. Is his other one? Is it the other one? You couldn't charge it with the battery in it. And these are, I'll show you guys the vapes that uh, Rail's bringing because we're not supposed to be having any kind of cloud making equipment. And it is the Joytech Ego One, a whole whacking 4.2 non adjustable watts. Just crazy, man. Crazy. Oh, you get control with that thing. Clouds. <laughs> we're going to get clouds with these. Oh, Here's going to happen. Is everybody's going to be walking up to the park using their big vapes. There's going to be a cloud leading up to the park and then it stops right at Queens. Yeah. <laughs> Bam! From an Ego One. <laughs> I'm going to enter my next cloud comp with this guy. Random man. Okay, where's the uh, construction? Look at this. You just call him Inwood. I was told Don Valley, if you have internet on your phone, look on the uh, CVA page. They're cloudy. It mm. actually shows up with this camera. Jimmy's just like barely well, this there. Is nothing compared to what it was. Like yeah, I kind of <laughs> wish I hadn't have missed that. Oh, oh man, the vaping sick. gator present going to the rally. All right, let's walk up this door. <coughs> and Andrew, Katie. Katie, Katie, and then of course Jimmy, Kurt, and Shen. <laughs> It's like the, the pivotal point of the motion detector is that there's a this dick back there, so it's like makes me my tummy feel sick. Uh, I'm gonna have to add a little bit of censorship in there. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Get my video yanked off YouTube. Your then again, then again, Jim starts all his videos with Oh dick. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> 
I like Eminem. We're just pulling into the outskirts of Toronto now. The van is foggy, but not foggy. Safe enough. Windows open. Safe to drive it. And uh, we should be getting down to Queen's Park probably within the hour, I imagine. If we can find parking. If we can find that parking. Yeah. If not, I'm used to walking across Toronto. Have you seen that video? This is Jim's Disneyland right oh here. God. I unbelievably choke that I can't ride those. Look at that. St. Thomas could really learn right something. The wall in Toronto. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, they just this is so just out here, right? And it's how does it man? They're used to it, eh? They're oh like, my God. St. Thomas is scared to set something up. Like, yeah, it was cool do you see Toronto being afraid of somebody suing the like, city for having the these? No. Use that your own back flip. Yeah. I'm sure it says it somewhere there. No, but the kids in St. Thomas, they're just stupid. Like, dude, I would well fucking and... murder somebody. Not necessarily. I say give them the chance, really. These kids from our complex stole a skateboard ramp and put it in the in, in like in my front yard, and it like killed the grass. And it, like, moved Have to make thing. a special trip someday, Joe. Um, you can take your bike on the bus, yeah, eh? I come here a lot. Same time. <laughs> We know where we're heading. I think we go that way, don't we? I thought we'd go this way. Oh, yeah. We come under that bridge. She just broke it. Got a bag like this. 10 bucks on eBay. Yeah, that's the way to roll, yeah. It holds all my vape gear. Dripping and walking, dripping and walking. What you saying? Don't drip and walk. I'm saying everybody's getting ready to talk. Oh, buddy, we're matching. Yeah. You got the thing down too, right? Oh, where'd you get a lanyard from Jedi? Vape can. can. Oh, I didn't even see them there. They probably had, I wanted the shirt. Yeah, they gave away a bunch of shit at Vape Can. I bought the hat and they gave me this beanie for free. Nice. Are we gonna wear from them? Oh. Where'd they go? Oh. Our new friends. Oh. We lost some vapors. Oh, signs right out in the, the in nature. In the nature, right? nature signs. Nature Zero Valley. Zero fucks, man. Oh, what's that reading? What? Oh. Is that the vapor shark? No, it's, it's the club. Oh, no doubt. It's like the closest like, <laughs> thing that I had. <laughs> <little fucking laughs> thing. Oh, how's it working, bud? Chuck and clouds? Hey. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> Jim's like, all right. See that sign? Oh, it's not smoke. <laughs> Vapors, vapors everywhere. A vapors holiday. What is this? Um, was that? Uh, oh, the um, Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker. From Gonzo. From where? Gonzo Mixologies. The Vape Expo. Turn the sign back over. Oh, and. So which way are we heading here? The front. Oh yeah, this looks great. Yeah. Oh yeah, see randomness. Look at and the cheaper. great parking job we got. Eh? And yeah. cheaper than the 30 bucks. Plus we got some sign. No, I just got it. Yeah. 
Put it right in the window, facing that window. And leave it there. <laughs> So here we are, we made it, Queen's Park, Toronto, got my sign, everybody's got lots of signs, got a nice crowd here, so far. So let's get some film. It's all about this right here. Yeah. Going on. Going. What's going on, man. Videotaping the videographer. <laughs> we found Mr. Ken Ross. Say hello, Ken. Hey, how are you? So I'm periscoping. Right on. And uh, we we hit. 27 there for a while, but we dropped down again. So I think people are just dropping in to see There's not too much happening right now. So I just shut off, say hello to people. My arm's getting sore because I didn't bring a selfie stick. All right, guys. I'll be back. How's it going? How's it going? Excuse me, sorry. No worries. We passed them on the way down here. I think we have too many now. Take it by storm, eh? <laughs> Just yeah. start handing them out to somebody who doesn't have a sign. It's you, I don't think they have their sign. You guys want a sign? I noticed that a lot of people have a lot of these are like, I'm not hurting. I'm not hurting. I'm not hurting. I'm not hurting. I'm I'm always lazy with that, but I thought we wanted My hand is so bad for smudging writing on paper. <laughs> Plenty of signs going around, not a shortage. Sign, sign, everywhere sign. 
Dags needs a sign. No, but you just are so long. You're not carrying a sign. Grab a sign. He's got an armband. He tried to armband me. He said, I can't. No! It's just like one thing where he's like, okay, what's the meeting? Hey, Dags. What's going on? Green. Government and Bill 45. Because we know vaping is not smoking. I'm gonna take Let's time. show with a show of hands how many of us here today quit smoking because of vaping. Wow, that was fantastic. Thank you everyone for coming out here, standing in the cold to do what we have to today. We would like again, once again, to remind you, please keep to this side of the stage as best we can. I know it's packing in. This is just for insurance purposes. We want this to go as smooth as possible. Please let's remember, I know we're here, we're passionate. Let's also be respectful. Keep the clouds down, guys. Keep everything as clean as we can. Let's leave it just as nice as we came into. So, Take without any more hesitation. Leave only I just want everybody to know that a few minutes ago I received a call from the one person who voted against Bill 45. Who can tell me who that is? Randy Hellyer! And he is so proud of us gathered here today at Queen's Park exercising our right to protest because we believe that vaping is not smoking! Man, that is fantastic. So one more thing we'd like to remind everyone, this isn't just a stage full of speeches today. This is a protest. So throughout the day, we're going to be chanting, and one of them will be vaping. It's not smoking. Very nice. Uh, throughout my speech, I'll be opening everything up. We'd also like to highlight the fact that the Smoke-Free Ontario Act has failed. So can we repeat that one? The Smoke-Free Ontario Act has failed. The Smoke-Free Ontario Act. There we go, we got a sign right here. So throughout my speech, I'll be holding up my hand like this and we're all gonna repeat that. It's gonna look great, it's gonna help the flow. So thank you very much. Uh, actually, there is one specific reason we're here today. It's because two people had an idea and they took that idea and went to Facebook because where else do you go when you have an idea, right? So I want everyone right over here. Over here. <laughs> This is Shane, and this is Ashley, and they are the people who created Vapor Advocates of Ontario. Yeah! And just so everybody remembers, that was eight days ago, and look what we have accomplished in eight short days. Yeah! Take it away, Charlie. All right, guys, so this is the speech. Here we go. Ladies and gentlemen, first and foremost, good afternoon. What was that? Good afternoon. Thank you so much for coming out. We know it's cold. We know it's packed. We do appreciate it. I, myself, am truly humbled. I'm Charlie, by the way, to be standing here before you and, indeed, beside you on what we believe is going to be a very momentous occasion. Together, the vaping industry in Canada and across Ontario put out a call to action, and you guys answered. So be proud. Be proud. Make noise. The day that we all make a difference. I'm honored to have been chosen by the organizers here to represent our voice, our voice. But I look over the crowd and I think it will be hard to find just one voice amongst us. Together we represent people from all walks of life, all genders, ethnicities, shapes, sizes, people from the age of 19 to people well into their seniors. Sorry if I pointed over you seniors. <laughs> It stands to reason that in a crowd like this, we have very different beliefs, different creeds and customs, especially different political opinions and affiliations. So to say that we have one voice, that can't possibly be true. The way I see it, we have but two things in common amongst all of us. The first is that we were all regular cigarette smokers. 
With support from the vaping industry, our local vape shops, our friends, our families, most importantly, with the help of electronic cigarettes, we, for the most part, are not cigarette smokers anymore. We've quit smoking. Oh, thank you. And if you have it, that's okay. We still drastically reduce the amount of cigarettes we smoke every day. I myself, I haven't touched a cigarette in nearly five years after almost a decade of smoking every day. Thank you. The second thing we have in common, the second thing, is the knowledge that, ironically, on this, the 10th anniversary of the Smoke-Free Ontario Act, the Smoke-Free Ontario Act has failed. One more time, repeat. The Smoke-Free Ontario Act has failed. Yes, indeed, everyone. The government every year spends millions of dollars on the Smoke-Free Ontario budget to reduce the amount of smokers and, in turn, the amount of smoke-related deaths and disease. Most agree with this spending wholeheartedly that smokers do deserve a lower risk alternative to traditional smoking. However, an unamended Bill 45 passed into law as written will certainly destroy the most significant development to public health with respect to these anti-smoking efforts that frankly the world has ever seen. effectively ends regulated vaping in Ontario, the entire industry, and it sets a dangerous precedent for other provinces and other nations. So to this we say, the smoke-free Ontario Act has failed. Thank you. The act was designated to significantly reduce tobacco use and lower health risks to non-smokers in Ontario. The act aimed to protect the health of all Ontarians by prohibiting smoking and encouraging means to quit. Though the science proves without a doubt that vaping is at least 95% safer than cigarettes, our elected officials have chosen through their lack of research and consideration to effectively end the best chance the Smoke-Free Ontario Act has to succeed. So to this we say, the Smoke-Free Ontario Act has failed. Smoking is the number one cause of death and preventable disease in Ontario. It kills nearly 13,000 people every year. Though tens of thousands of Ontarians have quit smoking and begun benefiting from the benefits that vaping provides, Bill 45 puts an end to this development by limiting access and the education, the promotion of these life-saving products. The bill will no longer allow our shops to discuss the merits of one product over another. Everyone smokes differently. People vape differently too. We need that. The bill doesn't allow our shops to safely demonstrate the most effective way to use the products. We know these things can be complicated. We need to teach people how to use them safely, how to use them effectively so they do work. And this bill doesn't allow that. This bill doesn't allow our shops to promote these products to people aged 19 and over to try to reduce the amount of tobacco use. So to that we say, The Liberal and government, in plain sight, they intentionally killed the retail viability of these products. With the same breath, however, they provided indefinite extensions to tobacco companies. They damaged Bill 45's intent. Thank you. The intent, now they can sell flavored tobacco, the real gateway products. Big tobacco gets an opportunity to flourish at the cost of severe damage to this public health benefit we've created. So to this we say, the smoke free In the same way Shisha has been given an indefinite extension through changes to the bill. Business as usual for a product to be proven at least as harmful as tobacco cigarettes. Our elected officials have chosen to listen to big pharma lobbyists at the Canadian Cancer Society, the Heart and Stroke Foundation, who are indeed subsidized by tobacco companies selling their deadly products. Vaping products are a direct threat to tobacco sales and their entire industry. And while they don't kill their users, they certainly kill tobacco sales and the nicotine replacement therapy profits. A major blow to the funding structures of these organizations. So to this we say, there is no scientific evidence to suggest that vaping produces harm to either the vapor or to secondhand passerbys. At the health ministry's request, we conducted ourselves and presented a comprehensive air quality uh, study by Ontario's top analytic lab. It showed no exposure limits even close to the NIOSH occupational health concerns. 
and our elected officials chose not to even review or consider this data. So we say once again, the small free Ontario Act has failed. But this bill as written isn't just a threat to public health, it's an economic disaster. It's not only a threat to the improvements that vaping has made to public health. In the past five years, the vaping industry has given in Ontario an economic boost like no other. Hundreds of great vape shops across the country and the province employ hundreds of more Canadians. Most of you here, some of you here, maybe not most of you. We pay at least above the national minimum wage requirement, and if we don't, we should. Nearly across the board. My company alone employs over 22 Ontario residents, and we're responsible for the primary income of at least 18 families. These vaping businesses, our businesses, our livelihoods, we pay our corporate taxes on time, all of us. We pay all of our corporate responsibility, all the fees that go along with it. If we could take everything we're doing today, all this money, all this energy to do things like this today and invest them, put our profits back into research, we can make vaping even more successful, even more effective than it already is. By ignoring all these facts, Honorable Minister Damrabo, you are not just sentencing ex-smokers back to their cancerous habits. You're crippling Ontario's economy to the tunes of tens of millions of dollars every year. To this we say... There is hope, however. We, for the most part, are not politicians. We're just concerned Canadians. We're residents of one of the most forward-thinking provinces in the country. The rest of Canada is looking to us right now for guidance, especially when it comes to public health. All we ask, ministers, is that you correct your mistakes. You're human, just like us. We understand there are pressures from outside forces, these organizations, tobacco companies, pharmaceutical companies. We understand, and mistakes were made. We're offering our help, our support. Please do not allow Bill 45 to pass as written. Sit down with us again. Truly listen to what we have to say. Review the evidence. Review the science. Don't just look at it and pass it on. Take it in. Understand why organizations like the Canadian Cancer Society and the Heart and Stroke Foundation want to regulate vaping out of existence. There's a reason. Do these things so that at the 20th anniversary of the Smoke-Free Ontario Act, we can proudly say the Smoke-Free Ontario Act has succeeded. You have the power to be on the right side of history, as you politicians like to say. The biggest improvement to public health, the epidemic that we call tobacco use, Make the right decisions and make them for the right reasons. Thank you. Can we do it to the stage. He has a very important message. What Dave will be reading is a message right from MPP Randy Hillier himself. Uh, he couldn't join us today, so I can think of no better man to take over. We are sorry that he could not attend with us, but I'm very pleasure, I'm very proud to have the distinction of reading our speech from our good friend, our one friend in government, Mr. Randy Hillier. I was very pleased when I heard about this rally was being organized. And I'm very disappointed I had other things scheduled in my riding that prevent me from being here and vaping with you. As you know, when Bill 45 was voted on during the third reading, of the 100 members in the House that day, 99 voted in favor, and one did not. Thank you! But a few four short months ago, many MPPs are having second thoughts about how they voted. And many have changed their view. But there is one person who has not changed their view and has no reservation about his vote. I oppose Schedule 3 of Bill 45 as strongly today as I did in May. <laughs> Rather than accepting the science and championing, cha championing a game changer in the fight against smoking related illness, which costs our healthcare system billions of dollars and the loss of countless lives. This Liberal government would rather stick to their governing from the activist center rhetoric and punish and limit those 
actively making a healthier choice for both themselves and their families. The placement of vaporizer technology as a tobacco product in the Smoke-Free Ontario Act via Schedule 3 of Bill 45 is not only ignorant of the facts, a step backwards in the fight against smoking-related illness, it's also a disservice to the people of Ontario and their health. All that said, you here today and all the other people of Ontario have a voice. And when that voice is loud enough, it can and will make a difference. Even in Kathleen Wynne's Ontario. We saw this month the Liberals back down from their proposed municipal land transfer tax extension. And earlier in the year, their commitment to finally address the long-standing issues with Lyme disease in this province after thousands of signatures on petitions and innumerable complaints from every corner of the province came flooding in. Together, we can make a difference. And I applaud all of you for coming out and having your voice heard. I encourage all of you to continue to advocate against the government's attack on vaping and healthier choices. Together we can and will stop the Liberals and Schedule 3 of Bill 45 and make a real positive change for the health of all Ontario. Thank you, Randy Hillier. That was fantastic. Thank you so much, Dave. Everyone else, I'd like to remind you, politicians these days, they do a lot of work on social media. It really helps them a lot. Be sure to share with Randy how much you appreciated his message today and everything he does for us, please. So our next speaker today is David Richmond Peck. Let's... I'm not a... I'm not a protester. I'm 42 years old and I've been to one protest in my life. I'm not even sure I know how to protest. I'm a, I'm a father, I'm a husband, and I'm a proud Canadian citizen. This past year I watched tobacco-related cancer methodically take each and every ounce of life from one of the most important women in the world to me. A woman I called every day without fail. I watched her become unable to speak. I watched her become unable to get out of bed. I smiled and I assured her that I was okay. And she laid there crippled and helpless as her equipment leaked mucus onto her clothing. I watched her muscles deteriorate. I watched her face become gaunt and unrecognizable. I watched cancer caused by 50 years of smoking turn me into a man who wished his mother, this woman that I looked up to, this woman that I called every day, turned me into a man who begged for her life to end so she and the rest of us could find peace. I'm not a, I'm not a protester. I'm, I salute the Honorable Topeka DeMurla, Associate Minister of Health and Long-Term Care and Wellness. I salute her efforts to help lead Canadians into making healthier choices. I think appropriate legislation is necessary, but I'm a citizen with questions. We're approaching the 10th anniversary of Smoke Free Ontario, a strategy to combine programs to help smokers quit, protect people from secondhand smoke, and encourage young people never to starve. And approaching this anniversary, Bill 45 has banned the sale of flavored tobacco products, including menthol cigarettes, all steps in the right direction to fight big tobacco, or are they? On the approaching 10th anniversary of Smoke Free Ontario, the Honorable Topeka DeMurla and the Honorable Premier Kathleen Wynne 
Now, given big tobacco, an industry that causes the death of 37,000 Canadians each year, that produces $1.1 billion in tax revenue for Ontario, essentially a reprieve from Bill 45, a reprieve on the ban of menthol, while at the same time, Crippling had a good shot. Canada's growing yeah, e-cigarette yeah, industry by preventing store owners from detailing their products. Yeah. An industry and a product that's now proved to be the number one smoking cessation device on the planet. Yeah. By the way, five percent of adults in Canada that smoke smoke menthol cigarettes. Twenty-nine percent of youth in Canada that smoke smoke menthol cigarettes. Yeah. Almost 200 yeah. stores in the province open every day to tutor people into finding a healthier alternative to smoking. They employ 600 to 1,000 people. They generate $50 million in sales in the province and they do that saving the lives of hundreds of thousands of people in Ontario alone. Yeah. A scientific study conducted by Public Health England, a government body, has concluded that e-cigarettes are 95% safer than smoking tobacco-based cigarettes. I'm not standing here to protest legislation. I'm not standing here to protest legislation. I'm asking for it. Appropriate legislation. The, the, the vaping industry isn't asking to sell the miners. The vaping industry wants adult-only spaces. You can't just light it up and inhale. It requires guguidance. It requires tutoring. You look what is not tobacco. Let's forget the obvious differences. Tar, carbon monoxide, uh, hydrogen cyanide, DDT, or the 4,000 other chemicals not found in e-cigarettes. Asking for the right to blow it in someone's face, we're asking for it to be defined as a new consumable product. We're asking for it to be regulated as a new consumable product. Adult-only spaces to tutor people on a healthier alternative. Yeah. Yeah. This is a very tobacco harm reduction tool. Smoke-free Ontario should be begging for. It's the end of big tobacco. Yeah. So why? is our government choosing to cripple a healthier alternative by defining it as the very product we seek to destroy. Money. I'm not a Canadian, I'm not a protester, I'm a Canadian cis, citizen and I have questions and I'm confused. Smoking isn't vaping, thank you for coming today. We have a fourth speaker. We have the lovely Marion. Lovely Marion. For those of you who work at a vape shop or hang out at a vape shop or own a vape shop, you know that all your customers are not the same. And I think Marion is a good example who, of someone who is a good representation of the vaping community. Thank you. I was going to start by saying, I'm Marion and I'm a vapor. I smoked for over 35 years and I tried to stop for over 35 years, and I succeeded a couple of times, but every time I did, my weight grew, and I became almost elephantine. And the only way I could lose the weight was by smoking. And I tried and tried, and I just, I just couldn't do it. However, in the spring of 2014, I was getting really tired of waking up in the morning and coughing and choking. And so I went to my doctor and she gave me a prescription for champagne. Yeah, and I bought it. And then I read the label and the warnings. <laughs> and I thought, I thought, gee, it'd be better to die of smoking than violence and suicide. <laughs> so instead, I did some research on the internet 
maybe a couple of hours and I got all this information about vaping and how it was safer and how it was easy and pleasurable. So I ordered a starter kit over the internet. And I smoked my last cigarette while the battery was charging. Right on. I was so, so, so happy. I, I grew wings. <laughs> but it was not easy. Not completely easy, because nope. I'm not technical, I'm not mechanical, and um, I had trouble starting. But then I found a couple of wonderful vape shops, and the people were so friendly. And so because that's so how vapors cool. are. <laughs> and they explained yep. what a coil is, <laughs> and why you have to change it every now and again. Yes. Um, they pointed out that it's a good idea to clean the equipment occasionally, yeah? And whether to put the liquid in the top or the bottom <laughs> of the glass thing, right? And the level of nicotine that was good, so that I wasn't glad, mm. or, but I still felt comfortable. And they opened up the wonderful world of flavors. <laughs> the and wonderful then, world of flavors. You all know that the next smoker's taste buds suddenly wake up. Yeah? Yeah. And I discovered Rice Krispie treats. <laughs> and Irish cream. And even the wonderful Unicorn parts. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've spent many happy parts. hours in the vape store. She's adorable. I get, I always get advice on like power yeah. levels and clearomizers and the difference between a watt and a bolt. <laughs> I, uh, I try different <laughs> flavors. I encourage <laughs> smokers who are in there who are nervous about trying the switch. And I love sharing plans, stories plans, with other vapors mm. in the testing that, area. That side's the worst. Yeah. <laughs> now last April, I was lucky enough to be selected to speak um, to the committee that was listening to input into Bill 45. And I told them my experience, much as I told you, and I, but I told them several things. First thing was, that whoever wrote Bill 45 knows nothing whatsoever about vaping. Yeah. Yeah. I, I did a show and tell with my equipment, you know, pointing out. And you know, several MPPs came to me afterwards to thank me because they said they didn't know what an e-cigarette was. Yeah. Thank you. However, after the presentation, the government representatives had a chance to ask me questions, you know, and, and explore the further. And um, those in the um, opposition asked quite intelligent questions, actually. But the government representative, she was more interested in telling me an anecdote about the supposed gateway effect. <laughs> about vapor farts, eh? <laughs> Unicorn farts, I mean. She said it again. <laughs> and she tried to trick me into saying that vapors didn't want any regulation. I told her it was the government's a job like just to make sure yep. that vapors are safe, that we have high quality of suits and equipment. And I expected that. If you would have wore like a card saying... <laughs> What I told the committee was, I am so, so grateful to be free from smoking, and I want all smokers in Canada to have the same chance for freedom and health and confidence that I have. <laughs> I told them that if Bill 45 had been in effect, 
in April of 2014, I would still be smoking. But <clears throat> nothing, nothing in this bill has changed. This is exactly the same ignorant and disgusting and destructive bill that will close vape shops and leave hundreds of thousands of smokers still struggling with the horrible and useless patches and pills. These are not the healthier choice. Thank you. Wow, another fantastic speaker. Thank you very much again, Marion. I'd like to invite up onto the stage now, Lori Somerville, please. Big round of applause. Well, there's more of you than I thought. Yay! <laughs> the more the better. Winston Churchill once said, courage is what it takes to stand up and speak. Courage is also what it takes to sit down and listen. Yes. Vapors have had the courage to stand up and speak. We've written emails, we've written letters, we've shared our stories thousands of times, we've signed our petitions and we've all made our phone calls. Vapors stood outside MPP offices yesterday sharing our message. for the provincial government to have the courage to sit down and listen. Again, eh? Listen That's to right. the stories that we're openly sharing. <laughs> listen <laughs> to the studies that are readily available. <laughs> Hundreds of thousands of vapors worldwide have stopped smoking and switched to vaping. A hundred thousand. <laughs> and growing, that's right. As corner of a vape shop, our customers are as diverse as Canada itself. We hear their stories every day. People dying, people sick, people that are just fed up of being uh, addicted to their cigarettes. They're looking for an alternative. We have it. And when new vapors come back, they bring their friends, they bring their neighbors, their parents, their grandparents. They feel confident in their choice and their excitement and passion is contagious. Knowledge and experience are powerful teachers. We can quite easily reduce the numbers of smokers in this province and have already started to do so. Vaping could possibly be the very answer the government has not been looking for. Yeah. Yeah. Bill 45, specifically Schedule 3, Making Healthier Choices Act, it's a travesty. Where is our choice in this bill? Adults walk through the doors of these shops every day and they're no more surprised that there's vapor in the air than they are the smell of beer at a bar. Yeah. The ban of indoor vaping should not include the very places where people are being educated and guiding on their journey to stop smoking. Yeah. Yeah. Big shops are offering that healthier choice that they're looking for. We already have it guys, pay attention. Yep. We're creating jobs, we're generating revenue, we're paying our taxes, and we're contributing back to the economy and the community. Yeah. Yeah. They trust us enough to make informed decisions at the polls, but somehow when it comes to a personal decision that affects us directly, they think we have no choice. They think we have no voice. I am disappointed that the provincial government has failed to listen to the research on these products and has chosen instead to use emotion over fact, fear mongering, and downright bullying instead of logic. Our provincial government has taken away our free will. Free to choose and decide for ourselves as adults, taxpayers, and guess what guys? Voters. Try to ignore us now as we stand together. Winston Churchill also said, if you have an important point to make, don't try to be subtle or clever. Use a pile driver. Hit it once, then come back and hit it again, and then hit it a third time. A tremendous whack. Today is our time to make that tremendous whack because vaping is not smoking.
right, everyone, let's keep this energy going, please. We're going to do what all vapors love to do. We're going to have a competition, but not a cloud competition. No cloud competition. <laughs> we are splitting you guys up right down the middle. Look at the podium. We have a left side. We have a right side, opposite to your side. What Am I the right side? Sure. You're the right side. So I'm going to start. Sure. So our side is going to say, pay attention, minister. Let's practice. One, two, three. Pay attention, minister. In contrast, my side will crush your side and say, <laughs> vaping saves lives. Come on, guys. Vaping saves lives. So, Let's do it. So, so all together, it's a message. Sounds like it. So, ready? One, two, three. Vaping saves lives. Guys, now it's time to hear from the man himself. Karim, would you join us on stage, please? Big round of applause. What's going on, buddy? What's going on, guys? <laughs> we have a lot of signs in the crowd. Let's get them up. We're all the signs. Woo! Now I can't see anybody. <laughs> Keep it up. It's easier to talk like this. <laughs> this location, actually, where we're at today, is very dear to my heart. I did my master's degree right here at, at the Robin School of Business and I spent most of my life right there at the downtown, the financial core of Toronto. But there's one difference today. I don't smoke anymore. Never in a million years did I think I'd be standing here today in front of all of you, with you, saying that I do not smoke. I made a commitment in 2009 to my beautiful wife. I told her I gotta find a way to stop smoking. A pack and a half day smoker, easily, God forbid, there were some festivities happening on the weekend. When somebody first introduced me to an electronic cigarette, I looked at it and said, hey, this is, this is not gonna work. This, this doesn't even make sense. Five years later, it's not just me, we are proof Yes. that these products are revolutionary. Yeah. We are proof that these products work. Yeah. Yeah. And we are proof that we've all made a healthier decision about our own lives. Yeah. When Bill 45 was, was proposed in 2014, I started thinking to myself, this is just unjust. These devices have changed millions of lives globally. What are you gonna do with us? Are you just gonna push us aside? No! no. There have been thousands, countless studies done globally. We've heard of them already today. There are studies done nationally, globally, showing that these products are revolutionary. They have impacted and changed people's lives. They have impacted our communities. And one point I will bring up about our community is every addiction known to men requires community help to quit. Yeah. Yeah. It is unjust that our government will not look at the stats. Statistically, Wells Fargo is saying by 2024, electronic cigarettes will overtake traditional cigarettes. Yeah. Yeah, Respectively, right. Bloomberg is saying in 2047. This community, these vendors, these people, our community, my vape fam, we are adding hundreds of thousands of dollars into this economy and creating stimulus. Yeah. We are hiring thousands of Ontarians providing jobs, all of our vapors, all of our vendors, everybody here is committed to the same cause. We understand, regulations are needed, I get it. Underage vaping, it makes sense. However, these regulations need to be just. Yes. These regulations need to be equitable. Yes. 
and we are demanding that these regulations are fair. Yeah! It would be a shame. In fact, I was corrected on this yesterday. It is a shame if Minister Demerla does not go back and look to add exemptions within Bill 45 the way it stands today. Yeah! yeah. Because we all know vaping is not smoking. Today, we stand here fighting for our civil liberties. It is not the last day, and this is not the last fight, because I challenge anybody in this government to come take on my vape fan. Because we will show up wherever we need to, whenever, however we need to, and we will go stand there and come out and shout, vaping is not smoking! Guys, um, simple in the end, I'll say this very simply. The truth of the matter is, vapors have been promoting a healthier living act before Bill 45. Yeah! I stand here today as a husband, I'm a father, I'm a son. I'm a Canadian, but most importantly, I'm a vaper. Thank you. Crazy eight days, huh? Yeah. Okay, with a show of hands, how many of you have put on a hand check on Facebook? Yeah. I'm guilty. How about you, Charlie? Oh yeah, well, you're running, of course. So, we were kind of thinking, instead, in the honor or the spirit of a hand check, why don't we do an epic sign check? So, I have my phone, but I have to remove it from selfie mode, because I'm one of those. <laughs> I'm gonna get over here for this. Thank you. Let's tweet to Demirla. Let's tweet to Demirla. Yes, we will tweet it to her. Let's all get together, squeeze in, and let's raise those signs high, and let's do the most epic sign check ever. I'm going to do my first selfie ever with Maria here. Let's be, oh, for real. Let's be Ellen selfie. Yeah. Yeah. Is everyone back there? Yeah. Hold on, I have to figure out how to use this. Yeah. We're getting their story, guys. Okay. Ready? Everyone back there? Thanks guys. Alrighty, one more thing. Look around the crowd. This is a huge crowd. I think we met our target. Give yourself a round of applause, number one. Number two, let's remind ourselves that this is only a tiny fraction of vapors in Ontario and indeed a smaller fraction of vapors across the country. So get your signs in the air. Make noise one last time for all the people who couldn't be here today that really wanted to. Lots of noise. Come on. We wish they could be here. And now, a word from the woman herself. Okay, I can't promise that I won't cry. The ancient Greek philosopher Aristotle once said, anybody can become angry. That is easy, but to be angry with the right person and to the right degree at the right time for the right purpose, in the right way, that's not easy, and it's not within everybody's power. Well, according to this modern Greek vapor, I can say with certainty, we have accomplished just that today. Just over a year ago, the Liberal government, led by Associate Minister de Merla, released Bill 45 and Ontario's Healthier Choices Act, which included Section 3, the Electronic Cigarette Act. You got it? Boom. I do, but I gotta keep them in frame. We at the same time. were angry, and we knew who we were angry with. That was Minister 
Thank you. I must be talented. I got them in frame two and everything. You got one of the collectively the prize to have our voice in the world. Yeah, that's We follow the rules. We asked to attend committee hearings. We met with MPPs in our home riding. We wrote letters to all members of provincial parliament. We reached out to local media to share our stories. Yes, the government, the very individuals that set forth to create healthier choices for Ontarians were making, making it clear that vaping would not be an option for us. They have chosen to give us no healthier choices when it comes to smoking. And then the government does not understand why we are angry. What? WTF? They do not understand our outrage. Mere hours after Bill 45 regulations were re released, a group emerged, created by two people, Ashley and Shane. Well, there's Ashley, there's Shane. Two people that were angry and chose their p to put their idea of a protest out there on a little social media page called Facebook. I spoke to Ashley, I think about 24 hours after people started paying attention to the Vapor Advocates of Ontario, and she said, my goal and my, our goal was just to make sure that this protest was bigger than her. Well guys, like, let's just take a look around us. I can say with confidence, Ashley and Shane, you have achieved that goal today. Thank you. Thank you. Oh my God, I made Ashley cry. In eight short days, a thousand plus people found their way to work together with a common purpose to let the Ontario provincial government know that vaping is not smoking. Vaping is not a gateway to smoking. Vaping is not a gateway to marijuana. I don't even know where they came up with that one. And most especially, vaping is magnitude safer than smoking cigarettes. Our fight with the government did not begin, nor is it ending today. Today's protest must not be looked at as an end. Today's protest is a catalyst to uniting our community, oh, to building a stronger platform, to working harder, to holding our government accountable to their role as public servants. Minister, I ask that you pay attention to the growing body of evidence that quite clearly shows that vaping is magnitude safer than smoking. Wow, guys, to like, really? wake up and be accountable to the mistakes in Bill 45 and specifically the Electronic Cigarette Act. To educate yourself on the facts and I beg you, put your ego aside. Yeah. And realize that the only legacy, sorry, that you are heading towards a legacy of hundreds of thousands of unnecessary tobacco deaths in the province of Ontario alone. Minister, it is not enough to just pay attention. You must smarten up. Thank you. Yeah, she should know better. She's a camera girl. Yeah, I know. Line of sight. Well, everyone, it's love well, this. Well, well, I have the right. Oh, I started <laughs> That concludes our structured speeches for the day, but we still have a bit of work to do, if you wouldn't mind. I think the first thing we should do is let's get our back and forth contest on one okay. more time. So pay attention, Minister. So Baby we State. are, actually, let's switch sides. You do pay attention and we will say. I'm not nearly smart enough for this, okay. but okay. <laughs> pay attention, Minister. What was the other one that we did?
vaping saves lives! Vaping saves lives. <laughs> Jeff, you, are, you are first. We're vaping saves lives, correct? Hey, we are pay attention minister and much louder, right? Oh no, guys, if anybody knows me, I have to win all the time and be the best <laughs> at everything. So don't let me down. Here we go. I'm just going to stay with this mic. Great work, everyone. Thank you very much. So, a couple things before we have some final closing statements. I don't want the last thing I say to be dry and boring. So, please remember, if you brought any garbage, please take it with you when you leave. Be respectful. When we all take uh, take off here, the buses are going to get a bit cramped when they start rolling through. We have to do some thank yous. The first thank you, these are all off the top of my head, is look around to anyone with a neon green armband. These are our marshals. They did a great job today. Not only... Yeah. Not only fulfilling a legal requirement, but doing their duty to help out with the event, and we appreciate that. We also have to thank our organizers. I know we have several times, but one more time, a round of applause for everyone involved. This is a blanket thank you, everyone. And please, a huge thank you, of course, to Maria, who works tirelessly to do things like this. Let's make this one, though, a thank you to all the vape shops, to the, to the shops themselves that day in, day out, they do the grind, I do it myself, I know it's not always the easiest job, but it is very rewarding, but that's why we're here, to support your vape shops, and please keep supporting your local vape shops, big round of applause for all vape shops, vape owners, vape A very special round of applause for anyone that helped you to get started on vaping. Some people you did it yourself and you're the pioneers. Others, it took someone else. Thank you. A lot of Sure. Two more announcements. Um, there, who has the book? Does anybody have the book? The book. The book. Please get that book back towards the front of the stage. If you have, if you want to share your story, share your testimonial about vaping, the camera is towards the middle, right down there, there's some signs around it. Share your story, it's just gonna take a couple of minutes, and video can be so powerful when it comes to storytelling. And you never know, someone may connect with you and stop smoking and switch to vaping because of your words. That's how much power each and every single one of us here today has. <laughs> guys. And finally, this one's for my mom, believe it or not. Believe it or not. My mom knows that I very, oh, you bring very seldom admit, admit when I'm wrong. <laughs> but I'm going to do it on national television and newspapers, everything like that. I was wrong, mom. When I started my speech, I said we couldn't possibly have a single voice. And I really believed it. I didn't do it just for this corny bit. I really did believe it. But after hearing everyone talk and the response, it seems like we are all on the same page. We know what needs to be the done. With the beard that says my number is eight. Because it's 2015 from you this got a story guy. Thank from you. Me. That'd be sweet. <laughs> so how many of you here today think that today was a success? Yeah! I couldn't agree more. And I did forget to thank CBA, of course, for all their support as well. And ECTA! And ECTA and THRA and Vapor Advocates of Ontario. There's so many great advocacy organizations, and that's where I was going with this. After the success of today, and I truly believe we have made a difference and we will continue to make a difference, so many positive things will come from what you all did, who you all took part in today. This is going to continue across the provinces, I believe, maybe across the country, or that obviously it's the same thing. It's going to continue across the world as well, because this is definitely not the end. This is barely the beginning, as you all know. So please, 
as we continue our efforts here to affect positive regulations, positive change, please help your fellow vapors across the country. If you're a graphic designer, if you're a media person, if you can help in any way, do what you can to help our fellow Canadians and world citizens. It always goes your way, no matter stage what. Stage moves across. Um, like I said, one last time, from the bottom of our hearts, thank you for coming today. We couldn't have did this without you, obviously. Thank you for enjoying one more big one. Oh, here's the book coming around. We need one last vaping saves lies as loud as you can, please. Signs in the air as loud as you can. One, two, three. Vaping saves lies! Thank you once again.